all kinds, all kinds, and all kinds. Last video we discussed all kinds and the various ways of nomenclature. Today we will talk about what happens when the carbon atoms are bonded together with more than one bond. An alkane is a carbon molecule with one bond in its structure. An alkene is a carbon molecule with two bonds in its structure. And an alkyne is a carbon molecule with three bonds in its structure. When there is a double bond in the molecule, we always try to number the molecule based on the, which start point is closest to the double bond. For example, if we had a straight chain six carbon molecule with a double bond on the second carbon, we number it as second carbon instead of the fourth carbon. What happens when we have more than one alkene? We try to number them so that the highest bonds have the least number. Uh, if there is a longer chain of carbons that doesn't include all the alkenes or alkynes, uh, you cannot consider that the main carbon chain because the carbon backbone must have all of the double and triple bonds. Alkenes have higher priority than alkynes in the case of a symmetrical structuring. So if one numbering favors the triple bond while another favors the double bond, you would number it in favor of the double bond. Otherwise, the same rules apply. After we have the numbering down, we can name the molecule. When we are naming molecules with a double bond, we have to indicate where that double bond is. We do that by putting the first carbon number of the double bond in the name of the alkene. For example, if the double bond is between the third uh, and second carbon of a five carbon molecule, it would be called pent-2-ene. Now for some problems. Uh, name uh, this carbon structure. So you can see there's four carbon atoms and there is a double bond between the second and third carbons. Uh, so this would be called uh, but2ene. And here there are five carbon atoms and there's no double or triple, triple bonds. So this is just called pentane. 